Hello, my name is Jesse from Radiant Vision Systems, and today I'd like to introduce you to Radiant's all-in-one solution for measuring AR and VR tech displays. So here at Radiant, we provide you with the most efficient visual inspection system for measuring these types of AR or VR displays. Whether it be an AR smart glasses, like we set up to measure here, uh, virtual reality headsets, or really any kind of AR, VR, or XR uh, near-to-eye type display. So there are three components that I'm going to show you today. We have our Chrometric Eye Series colorimeter paired with our unique optically designed AR VR lens, and of course our TrueTest AR VR software. So there are a couple things that make this lens uh, really unique and especially designed for measuring these types of near to eye displays. The biggest thing that sets this lens apart from traditional imaging lenses is actually the fact that the entrance pupil or aperture is located at the very front of the lens. So this allows us to mimic both the size and location of the human eye when they're looking through this type of display. Additionally, we're able to focus the lens at any projected image at any distance at which a person would be comfortable focusing. Also, having the entrance people at the very end of the lens allows us to have a very wide field of view without any occlusion from the headset or the lens itself. So in this case, when we have our AR VR lens paired with our 29 megapixel colorimeter, we're able to get a field of view of about 120 degrees in the horizontal direction and about 80 degrees in the vertical direction, um, all in a single image. So of course, also having a high re resolution colorimeter allows for, of course, very high uh, angular resolution, which allows us to look for very fine details and fine defects within our images. So next I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, TrueTest AR VR, so that is the software component of our all-in-one system. So TrueTest AR VR has a comprehensive test suite of analyses that are specifically curated to meet the needs of um, AR, VR display uh, designers and testers. So in addition to having some of the more traditional image analyses, such as you know, just looking at luminance and color or uniformity, uh, we also have several other uh, analyses that are specifically designed to meet the needs, again, of AR and VR display manufacturers. So we have analyses that can measure things like um, MTF or focus uniformity, you can measure the field of view of your display, um, distortion or contrast, um, as well as several others. Like all of our TrueTest software, TTARVR is able to automatically push images uh, from your computer to your display, um, which allows for automated measurement uh, in real time. So we can set up automated sequences to push patterns and take images and perform analyses, again, all automatically. So next I'm going to do a quick demo of our TrueTest ARVR software. Um, we're going to take an image of just a white display on our AR smart glasses and perform four quick analyses. So it's all set up to go, so I'm just going to hit run sequence here, and we can see that we're capturing an image and performing a few different analyses. The first analy analysis that we performed is this ANSI 13 point um, analysis, where we can see that the software automatically registered to the white area of our display and place these 13 points in the standard ANSI 13 location. So this provides us with um, luminance and color results for each of these points, as well as average and other statistics that we might be interested in. We can see that it turned green because we just set pass-fail criteria um, that this one happened to pass. So next I wanna look at the uniformity analysis. So we can look at this one in false color if we want to, to get a better sense of the uniformity of the display. The uniformity analysis allows the user to set a number in the x and y direction in which we can find the average luminance and color in each grid um, and then provides us with an average overall uniformity result that we can set pass-fail criteria on. So next we have our field of view analysis. So this one's pretty simple. It just the software automatically finds the four corners of your display and provides you with a a field of view result in degrees in the vertical, horizontal, and diagonal direction. So the last um, analysis that I want to look at is the points of interest analysis. This analysis is actually really flexible. The user can create points of interest in any shape or size and place them anywhere they would like on the display. In this case, we're just looking at a pretty basic set of nine circles. And of course, we'll get lots of different numerical results surrounding these points of interest. So that about concludes my demonstration of the software and Radiant's all-in-one solution for AR VR displays. Uh, if you have any more questions or would like more information, please visit uh, radiantvisionsystems.com.